Jeff. I play with cars. That's what I do. Camo Killer 2 in the beginning stages. Right side quarters getting replaced. In the process of doing that, we're also going to put a tail panel on it. That's the car's gotten hit at some point in time. It's a little bit funky in that area, so that's getting replaced. This side's pretty solid. You got a couple of uh, good used front fenders that are getting put on it. With a little bit of rust down on the bottom, which is where they rust. We're going to get that looking like brand new in no time. And geez, they fit a whole lot better than the aftermarket ones. Up front, uh, I got a radiator support that came out of California. That came out of flip-flop territory. Probably Teo's neighbor had it kicking around in the backyard. Things don't rust over there. 383 is coming back out, going in a black car. And we got a project we're going to do with this front subframe here. We're going to show camo how we do it up here in New York. We're going to trim some weight. We're going to add some clearance to the oil pan. And we're going to make it look just plain sexy. Up top, we got a VFN hood. This is a one-off hood. I called them up and had it made. It's four-inch cowl. Uh, it replaces the cowl panel on a Nova up by the windshield. You have a cowl panel. This hood goes right up to the windshield. That cowl is going to be buried up tight against the glass there. And out front, we got a couple of NACA ducks that are going to take our... Uh, our air straight into the carburetor and that's one of the problems with the cows is you never get some good air injection and I think this design is going to eliminate that with any luck not only that it's going to look hot <laughs> 